Alright guys, so welcome to the tattoo video. Uh, I went yesterday to Deadly Tattoos here in Calgary, Alberta and got my full back piece started. So it went from top of my shoulders to the bottom of my butt, as I'm sure you can see in a lot of the footage. The imagery that I chose to get tattooed on myself is, this, is a story from Slavic mythology. So it's a story of these two deities, Perun and Veles, and Thor, or Perun as he's, as he's called in the Slavic mythology, would do battle with this serpent god Veles, and they would do battle across the world tree and Perun would throw lightning at them uh, and all that kind of stuff. And that was kind of how the Slavs would explain the changing of the seasons. Uh, it was very cyclical, so in the story, even when Perun would, would catch or kill Veles, he would essentially go into a hibernation or something like that and then come back the next year. And that's how, that's how the cyclical nature of the change of seasons was explained in that, uh, in that day and age. My background is Ukrainian, so I wanted something that was a, I guess, a, a Ukrainian piece. And it took me a while to find something that I kind of identified with uh, that was also would make cool art. So I found that story and I found some cool source art and I sent that over to Shane. Uh, he took and changed it quite a bit from what we had uh, looked at originally, but that's kind of what I like about finding a really great tattoo artist, is you can give them a very rough outline of what you want and then they'll take and change it into something awesome that's very much their style and that's why that's what i think is one of the most important things when choosing a tattoo artist is to do your research look at a lot of their stuff and find out if they consistently do pieces that you like and stuff that's your style um, i saw a lot of shane's work and it, a lot of it looked like stuff that i would want to get and i really liked his style um, so when I gave him the source art, it wasn't necessarily because I wanted him to try and copy it. It was just, I like something along these lines. This illustrates the story I want to do. Um, so in the tattoo itself, there's Perun and he's kind of got a fistful of lightning. And then Veles is represented by the serpent. And there's some sort of underworld, uh, den denizens of the underworld and the skeletons and stuff down at the bottom. So it's, it's a little bit of an abstract on the story, but that's kind of what I'm looking for is I want, I want art. I don't necessarily want, you know, words or a story tattooed on my back. I want something that's that's a beautiful piece of art. I've wanted my back for a long time. I just didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do on it. So when I decided on that, that was uh, that was about it. I think the tattoo itself will probably take. Uh, I'm gonna hazard a guess around 40, 30 to 50 hours, somewhere in there. So I think. It'll probably take the better course of a year or a little more uh, if I'm able to get back in for about three hours a month, which is about all I can budget right now. So that will be the pace that I go at this thing. Uh, I'm really not too worried about getting it done snappy-like. Um, again, it's that sort of process-oriented mentality. Uh, I enjoy working with tattoo artists. Uh, I, wouldn't, I can't say I enjoy getting tattooed, but I definitely enjoy seeing the art progress. Um, throughout the course of, of getting it all done. So I'm excited to be working on it. I'm excited to have it started. There's some stuff on my back and my butt that I'm very excited to be covering up. And uh, yeah, yeah, it should be good. Hopefully we'll get back in there next time or the next few times with Dylan and we'll get some more footage and uh, make some more videos for you guys. Uh, I think another thing we might do is I might kind of go through and talk about some of the pieces that I already have and talk about what those are and maybe what they mean a little bit and uh, and do a full like sort of tattoo series. But we'll see what, uh, what people are into. Let us know if that's something you wanna see because I can definitely go through that pretty easily. Uh, and if you guys are into seeing more of me getting tattooed and all that kind of stuff, just comment below, like the video, let us know what you want and subscribe so you can keep up with all the action. Yeah, yeah, please do not step in my way. This is my time, my voice is power, yes. I put my 
my weapon to play I just need to get my footing correct I just need to get my head in the game I just need to let them know if they fuck with the kid I'll probably paint them red in the aim